Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. Last time we left off. Exploration of Vault 108, and we're still exploring it now. As the hoover gets put on downstairs, I hope it doesn't disturb you too much. As we uh, come up the steps here, and it takes us to the upper level. There's absolutely nothing in this room. Let's try going over the road. Over the road. Over the little passageway to another room where there is absolutely nothing in here either. And I'm still looking for a crutch. Ah, safe. I did notice in one of the last playthroughs, in one of the vaults, I can't remember if it was in Vault Patch, it might have been Vault 92 or Vault 106, uh, there was a crutch um, that I walked past. I noticed it when I was uh, rendering the videos and stuff, editing the videos. So uh, I know that I've walked past a couple in my time, but I'm now actively keeping my eye open for them, which will probably mean I will miss them entirely. But never mind. Oh. Red roaches, I hear and feel. Oh. Oh. Dog mate, can you kill these little blighters? Bloody vermin! A cafeteria. Well, let's just say I wouldn't eat my lemon Yorkshire puddings from that. And this is the last room to explore, and surprisingly, there's no crutch in there. So, that's pretty much Vault 106 done. It looks like it was a uh, cloning facility. So, it seems to me that the only sane vault in this place was Vault Number 101. Unless, of course, Vault 87 uh, brings up anything different. Which I seriously doubt. Probably in the same type of disrepair as the rest of these vaults. Well, Dogmeat, we've explored as many vaults as we can. I don't think there's any more vaults in this area. According to the Citadel computer, of course. So, we have a couple more things to do before we go back onto the main quest line. First of all, we have to give Agatha her soil Stradivarius. And secondly, somebody suggested we can go to Paradise Falls and since we've lost Sharon, get another different bodyguard to help us on our merry way. So I'll do that as well. So that shouldn't take too long. Then we shall commence Operation Finishing the Game and head over to Little Lamplight to find the alternative exit. The alternative route into... Uh, where am I looking here? I, th I believe... Agathuni. I believe Agatha's place is about here. How do I know this? Because I'm psychic. Ooh, we are so close to level 18! Oh, oh yes. I might get the bloody mess perk just to have that extra bit of fun, you know, when you're blasting them with the minigun, their bodies will explode <laughs> into like thousands of pieces. Just to finish the game off with, you know. Just nothing useful. It's not a useful perk in terms of anything, you know, like extra damage or anything like that, but it's just a, a little bit of a, a bit of fun. Come on, dogmate. Let's find this woman's violin, this Agatha woman. Give her this violin. I'm sick of listening to that damn free dog. Three dog. Stupid dog. That's another thing I need to do. I wonder if we could kill him. I don't think we can kill him, you know. We might be able to, uh... Oh! What the hell? What the hell? Seriously, what's going on? Oh! Who's that? I think... I don't think he'll be able to kill, uh... Th oh. oh, for oh. God's sake. Oh. Sam Warwick? Who's he? Hi! 
You little bitch! Get here! Uh, oh! Oh my god, you see how much bloody ammunition that thing took? Holy cow! Holy mackerel! Right, okay, I'm gonna continue my journey, and if that sound warrior wants to show his ugly head again, I'm gonna blast it off, I'll tell you that much for free. I think Dogmeat's gonna take care of him. I'll let him crack on. Let me get to the top of this and see <clears throat> what I'm looking for. Definitely a couple of unexplored blips here. Keep on running. Come on, run, 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 run. He's here. Is this him again? Yes, it is! Oh no, it's a raider. Oh well, he's dead. He's dead. I can see her mast. You can see that that's her mast there. Look. We're getting close to Dark Meat. We're getting close. Oh, so very close. Oh, I forgot to check out if that place was actually Canterbury Commons near Vault 106. Oh, I gotta go into the walk bridge. Oh my god. How do I get up there? Oh, jump down. Jump, 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 jump. There we go. I'm gonna go up this way. Here we go, 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 come on. Got a busy, busy life. Busy life in these wastelands. Look, Dog Dog made his way so quick. Here we are, little old Agatha. Agatha, hello. Oh, you're there. My, my, my. You certainly do look a little bit worn out from your travels. Oh, just look at my terrible manners. I'm Agatha. It's so nice to meet you. I've heard a lot now, about what you. What brings you all the way out here? Uh, I'm just exploring. Honestly, there's nothing much out here. Looking for sand, rocks, we have plenty of that. You're welcome to look around this area, of course. Don't let me dissuade you. I'm just trying to save you some time. Okay. My husband built this place way out here for a reason. Rest his soul. Oh, your husband's dead. I'm sorry. Oh, that's kind of you to say. Yes, he's gone. After he built this place, we spent many happy years together. We decided to cut off contact with the outside world and just depend on each other for comfort and company. Oh, dear. Surely you haven't severed all contacts. Oh, oh goodness, no. I have a supply caravan that passes here maybe once a week. I trade with him for whatever I need, and I stock up enough till they return. Oh. Well, what about if it never arrives? Well, I always have my husband's old radio set to fall back on. I used it once, in an emergency, when a group of raiders was getting a bit too close for comfort to my house. Otherwise, I use it to broadcast my so-called music I play for my homemade violin. <clears throat> I guess a homemade violin is never quite in tune. Oh, you are a clever one. Yes, that's exactly the problem that I have with it. It doesn't quite play all of the notes correctly, and I have to constantly tinker with it. What a shame. Well, is there anything I can do to help you? But now that you mention it, um, yes, there is. My training depends on my violin. Without it, I have nothing to play, no way to make music. If you can bring me a violin, a better one, I'd feel much more secure. Okay. How about, uh... Okay, what will you give me in return? As you may have already guessed, I really have nothing of value. Well, what a shame. Material value, Bye. that is. <laughs> All I can offer you is the same I offer the caravans that trade with me. What's that? The frequency of my radio and the promise of beautiful music. Oh, okay. I think 
you might be in luck, dearie, because I have something that may just be what you're after. Sakes alive! You mean you found a violin? Yeah, it's called a Stradivarius, apparently. Oh my goodness, I must see it, please. It's like holding a chunk of history in the palm of my hands. Amazing, simply amazing. I can't thank you enough. I wish I had something to give you, a more suitable reward for all your efforts. All I can give you is the frequency to my radio set. Tune in whenever you feel like listening to the strains of an old woman's violin playing. Oh, that will be quite ample, dear. Quite ample, I can quite assure you of that. Right, level up! Barter! We'll put a few points into that. Energy weapons, explosives... Come on now, put a few into energy weapons, a few into explosives. Let's get these up to something decent. Speech with Max, sneak, no, oh no, no, science, yeah, science could be useful. Alright, let's have a look at the perkies. Tag, no, camera resistant, no, master trader, no, lawbringer, no, cyborg, no. I'm going to do bloody mess, because it's fun. Watch this. See you later, lazy. Time to blow up into a fat money jugging. <laughs> I won't do it to an old lady. I'm not totally heartless. Only 95%. Right, let's listen to this tune then, eh? Agatha Station. But this is just a quick thank you to my new friend. Thank you for bringing me what I've been searching for all these oh, years. Bless her little heart. <gasps> Fault 101. Apparently, I might be able to do that mission now, actually. But first, uh, so many places to go. So little time. I'm getting overwhelmed. Paradise Fall, that's it. Paradise, where are you? There you go. See if we can get ourselves our bodyguard. Such beautiful music. Hey, guys. I've come to see the big boss. I need a favor. Don't mind me. Look at me. You still behind me? Yeah, good boy. The delightful tune of the Silent Stradivarius, circa 2052. My name is Dr. Stanislaus Braun. No, it's not really. It's me. I'm dedicating this next piece of music to my loving husband. May his soul find peace. Please, find peace indeed. Oh, look, quite the gathering down here. Look at them all just getting their little drinks and things. Anyway, I don't need to see you guys. I need to see the big boss. Big boss man, I need to get a slave. A bodyguard. Mr. Eulogy. Eulogy Jones. Turn this crap off. I'm listening to some soothing music and all I can hear is that crappy three dog channel. If only I could blast his face to bits. He's done me so many disservices. Calling me a, a bloody villain and all that. Calling me all sorts of names. Of anyway, Mr. Jones. Yes, I need a bodyguard. Gotta be careful using a slave as a bodyguard. Most aren't exactly motivated to keep you alive. Oh, don't worry. You know what I mean? You're in luck. It turns out my girl Clover is just the right little package for you. Uh... I don't want no hand-me-down. I don't think Clover's going to be used up anytime soon. That girl's got the devil in her, and she's crazy to boot. Crazy in a fight, crazy in the sack, crazy every which way but loose. But most of all, she's crazy in love with whoever's holding her leash. And for the low cost of a thousand caps, Miss Clover could be crazy for you. Clover, eh? Okay, join me in the next part to see how this deal goes down. See you soon.